we're back on the lathe. It has been a while. So, what we've got to do first is take this bit of dowel and fix it here. So I've got a place for my chisel to rest on as I'm turning. Uh, these are all obviously glued up, nice and strong. Um, where do I need to start with these? So I need to trim down the ends so they can go into the drill chuck. That'll be on both of those. Do a little center point on the bottom of them so then they can fix into this nail here. Um, and then I think we're ready to go. Yeah, I think that's it. Uh, Odin is joining me out here today because we have had a fresh bit of snow last night. So he's enjoying that quite a lot in his natural habitat. Got two uh, batteries that are charged. So yeah, I think we just, we crack on. Now this has given me a nice place to rest the chisel and work my way down. I'm very pleased with that. Right, next job I need to do is make a little wedge for inside here so I can control the speed of the drill. Like so. Right, what am I going to make that out of? Oh, thank you, Rogan. It's going to take your stick back, mate. Yeah, that'll do. So yeah, just made like a little dowel on the end of it and fits quite nicely in the truck. Good to go. Alright, tighten this up. nervous you know <laughs> I think I need to go in reverse don't I business. I just need to clamp it down pretty well. <laughs> I think we can just do that. All right, let's go for it. Not a bad view. We've had a fair bit of snow overnight, but we are going to be moving on now. Rachel's done with work, and I believe our next spot 
is the Harry Potter Bridge. So yeah, we're going to film there hopefully today if we, uh, I don't know if the snow stops. Because it's uh, coming down fairly heavy at the moment. This was last night's park up on a main road. And to be fair, it was nice and quiet. However, this morning the uh, snow plough went across the road and the side of the van got splattered. <laughs> but then we saw the uh, gritter, so we know that we're good to drive on this road. Of course, still being safe. Hello, boys. This side. Good boy. Thank you, buddy. Right, it's had a little bit of a problem. We uh, parked up in the car park and went a little bit too far and went into the front ditch and the back to wheels were just spinning. So I had to get my little shovel out and just clear a little bit of snow behind it so it could get some grip and well, luckily we did. Yeah, it was fun today. This car park's not actually for motorhomes but Kevlar doesn't identify as a motorhome today, it's a, it's a van with windows. <laughs> uh, right, let's go and see the bridge. You see how they've got cones in this car park to stop people going in the ditches? <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> I didn't realise that was a dig at me to begin with. Can you see that we can laugh about that now because you saved us? Yeah. Otherwise that would not be funny. Someone else just got stuck as well. But uh, yeah, they got out pretty quick. <laughs> a little bit of a push. I can see the bridge. This snow is amazing. Though. It is. It's coming right in my eyes, though. Have you ever been on snow this deep? Um, I think so. Hello. I think so. I never have. I don't think I've had this many times. Good boy. Oh my sick. god, that is savage. <laughs> that is barbaric. <laughs> and I brought my drone. Oh man. So I don't think I need to explain the bridge to anyone. It's in every single movie. Is it in every single movie? Is it in the last one? Yes, it is in the last one. I think it's, it's in a lot of people. It is. It's definitely in the last one as well. Yeah, it's obviously the bridge that the Hogwarts Express goes across. It's a very cool bridge. I've just been told off because it's not a bridge, it it's a, a bridge. viaduct. No, you said it was a viaduct. I just like. The people, the people deserve facts. Yeah, I don't want them telling me off. It's a viaduct bridge. <laughs> Famously called the Glenfin and Viaduct Bridge. That's the one. Uh, we're getting close now. It's even cooler. Oh, 
that's a heavy blow. That's a heavy blow. Wow. I am surprised that that happened. Okay, that was a bit disappointing. So what I'm gonna do for this one is take the block plane and just take these edges off to sort of make it more round to begin with. Then maybe it's like less heavy with the chisel. Yeah, I think there's a lot of technique that needs to be involved in this. I just don't know if this is doable, you know. It's a lot harder than I thought, and I think it's gonna come down to the tools. Yeah, I think I just need the proper like lathe chisels to do this. Obviously a proper lathe would be good as well, but <laughs> we use what we got, and uh, I think this is just gonna snap soon. I don't think I'm gonna be able to get the result I was hoping for. All right, this is the deal. I'm gluing this back up because we've still got a little bit of a dowel on it. I think what I'm gonna do is leave the lathe till the final, I think just sanding. I don't think I'm gonna use the, use it as like a proper chisel lathe anymore because it's just not working with the chisels that I have. So kind of quit while you're ahead sort of thing. Oh, this project just isn't going to plan, is it? <laughs> so for the rest of this project, I think I'm just going to use uh, planers, hand planes, and get the majority of the shape that I wanted. Um, and then I think I'm going to put it back in the lathe, mostly just to use some sandpaper to tidy it up. I might maybe use the chisels again to maybe get some curves on the back and I don't really want to kind of do the design that I was hoping for because I think I just don't have the right tools for it. Uh, I might give it a go, we'll see, but yeah. I think we're gonna end up with some ones, but not the ones we were hoping for. Okay, so, starting to look like a wand. Definitely needs to be thinned down a lot more. Um, but my arm's knackered and I can't feel my fingers anymore. <laughs> um, I kind of wish that I did this before putting it in the lathe. I think it would have helped a lot. Uh, but I still don't think I have uh, the right tools for the job. So, I'll see what I can do with this. Um, but yeah, it's almost at the stage where I'll probably put it back in the lathe and um, just start putting like a bit of sandpaper around it. The only thing is, is it's uh, it's very off center, obviously where I made the dowel to begin with. And that's because this had a bit of a bow in it when I glued it up. I've straightened it out now. But um, yeah, I don't know how that's gonna fare in the lathe now, but we'll see. Um, do you know what, I might even chuck it in the lathe now just to see what we can do. Gives us an idea, doesn't it? So this is what we've got. Still got some work to do on it, that's for sure. Hmm. Might have a look at some other designs just to see what's simple. On my wand, it was gonna be square this end, going to round. 
What if I did round? Go into square on this one. Might work. Not a bad idea that. Try and pull that. <laughs> like it's a bell weight. So. It's a bit sketchy walking up here in the snow because you have no idea what's underneath you. Oh, it looks cool. So, when we came to Scotland, when did we come here? Like, July, August time, I think we were in this area. And uh, we tried to come and see the train, but it was heaving. Like all of the car parks that we've gone past today, all were round. Um, yeah, you could not get in here, especially if you're a remote time as well, you would be very lucky. If you are gonna do it in the summertime, peak season, get here like four o'clock in the morning to get That's yourself so a spot. Early. Uh, yeah, it's very busy, so, but we are very lucky today to come and see it in the snow. I'm so happy that we chose this time to come and see it. Uh oh. People. People. People, let's roll. Yeah. Autobots. Roll out. There it is. There's the viaduct. I'll just uh, CGI a train coming in it now. <laughs> I'm only joking, I'm not that good. There's like a little information board over here, so I'm gonna have a little read. So, the train. Yeah. What's the actual name of the train? The Jacobite Steam Train. Ah, uh, okay. Why oh, yeah. No, 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 no. Oh, he likes the snow. Is that home? Again? No, it says the Jacobite meets the Hogwarts Express. It's what? It says the Jacobite meets the Hogwarts Express. They're coming towards each other. So is there actually a train called the Hogwarts Express? No, it's Express? the Jacobite steam train. That's the, tra that's the train that they film. That's the actual Hogwarts Express in real life. But there's two here. Is it like created so it looks like that, darling? I don't think so. Well, the Jacobite Steam Train is the Hogwarts Express. Okay. What are you doing? Maybe they just made a new font for it, so it's, uh, you know, like, obviously it says Hogwarts Express on it. It doesn't do that in, like, real life. I get that. I'm just wondering for the film if they just got an old steam train, did it up and put a new name on it. That's plausible, right? I'm going to look at this. I'm going to look this up and I'm going to add information here. It's not a conspiracy theory. You thirsty, bud. So I am pretty gutted that I can't fly the drone here. Um, I believe it's because of a farmer that's around here and you obviously have to fly over his land to get anything. So yeah, a bit upsetting because it would be awesome to fly the drone over there. It is really snowing now. <laughs> the dogs are getting covered. <laughs> Yeah, that was very sketchy coming down. I know I've got a husky pulling me, but yeah, if you're coming here, make sure you got some hiking boots on with some good grip. Wow. 
They're so big flakes. Go. <laughs> It looks like a booby trap. I think maybe that's why I was scared of it. I don't know. It's really overwhelming him. Come on, Aiden. Oh, this looks sketchy. Wow. That is cool. <laughs> if you like look directly up and you can see either side. How, sl how slow it looks. Yeah. Looks. I would try and get on camera, but I don't think it's possible. No. It's so that I wonder if we'll get out of the car park. I wonder if we'll get in the car park. <laughs> <laughs> we might not be able to see the van anymore. Maybe not. So cool. I don't know if the GoPro is going to pick this up. But I don't think I've ever seen snow this heavy, ever. Ever, ever, ever. It's a proper little snowstorm. It's the Hogwarts Express! <laughs> 2024 version. It's the, it's the remake that they're doing now. Odin, come here. Odin, what's this? Odin! Odin! So, some of you may have noticed that this isn't Scotland anymore. Yeah, unfortunately we had to um, come back earlier than expected, uh, purely because Kevlar 
uh, need some mechanical work. So unfortunately I'm going to finish these Harry Potter series back down south in my parents' carriage. But I have um, I have finished the wands and I'm pretty happy with them to be honest. I know I had a different design for Rachel's but um, that's come out pretty well. And now what I'm going to do is put some beeswax oil on them. Um, me and Rachel actually made this. We made a batch up um, when I was making my chopping boards. Uh, if you want to watch that series, it's up there. Um, so yeah, it's lovely stuff. And we've put like essential oils in them and yeah, they smell amazing. And they make um, mahogany and oak come up beautifully. So, oh, look at that straight away. Just look at that. Oh, that is nice. Forgot how nice that was actually. So we did want to see a few more of the um, Harry Potter sites, uh, but in the end we just uh, didn't have time. And obviously coming back, we were we had no choice. But um, do not fear, we will be going back to Scotland probably later on in the year. We've got other things planned for now. Most importantly is getting Kevlar back on the road, nice and healthy. So yeah, you'll see in the end, I went for my original design of having it square this end to round this end. And it does look very, very cool. Nice in the hand as well, you know. Give it the old Havala Kadava. So this was my wand where we had square one end, round at the other and then the diagonal join as well which held up this time just using the block plane and yeah hasn't snapped again but yeah look that's really nice really nice join as well and then Rachel's we had to change it up where we went round this end to square this end. And again, really nice in the hand. So let's give this a, a little coat now. What's also really nice about this product is that it's natural, so getting it on your hands isn't a problem. Still very happy with how they turned out. Yeah, even though we didn't get to use the lathe as we wanted, still got the uh, result that I wanted with my wand anyway. Yeah, very nice and straight as well, which is good. So yeah, I'll get some nice shot of the, shots of these. I'll leave them at the end of the video. But uh, yeah, thank you all for watching. Um, sorry it is the end of the series now. The end of Scotland for now. But um, still got plenty of adventures, plenty of projects still to come on the channel. So do not disappear. There are still lots to come. So thank you all for watching. And I'll see you on the next one.